a particle of mass m is attached to three springs a b and c of equal force constant k as shown in figure if the particle is pushed slightly against the spring c and released find the time period of the oscillation right now what is happening is let's say this is my block m okay i'll zoom this point this is my block m okay and uh, if i displace the block m by a distance x along the direction of spring c then the elongation in the spring a will be this much distance and this angle is 45 that is given to me so this will be x sine of 45 and the elongation that will be in the spring b this is the spring a and the elongation that will be in spring b will be x cos of 45 so what will happen is that since the spring a is elongated in this direction so a restoring force will act in this direction restoring force fa same for the spring b because spring b is also elongated so the restoring force will act in upward direction that will be fb and the spring c that is compressed so a restoring force will act in this direction fc right so the net force that will be acting on the particle of mass m will be equal to fa vector plus fb vector plus fc vector so what i'll do is i'll take the component of fa along the fc and the component of fb along fc both are 45 degree so it will be fa cos of 45 plus fb sine of 45 plus of fc right so the fa can be written as kx sine of 45 into cos of 45 plus for fb it will be kx sine of 45 again and cos of 45 again plus fc that will be equal to kx so it comes out to be kx by 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 plus kx 1 by root 2 to 1 by root 2 plus kx say in all it comes out to be two times of kx that is the net force acting on the block m so this net force can be written as mass into acceleration so again acceleration comes out to be 2k by m into x now this thing can be compared to omega square because the equation is directly proportional i mean the equation shows that acceleration is directly proportional to x so the coefficient of x will be equal to omega square so omega comes out to be under root of 2k by m and so the time period comes out to be 2 pi under root of m by 2k that is the answer